Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part seven of our series of session on cost center feature of Tally, playlist of cost center. So in the last session, we understood how we can create a cost center class and do a auto pre allocation. Now with the help of same cost center, in this session, we will understand how you can make use of this cost center class for individual cost center allocation also, especially in the purchase voucher. So the detail of the mechanism for updating the cost center allocation during the purchase voucher, we will go into tally and then we will explore the various scenarios under which you can quickly capture the cost center information with minimum allocation or auto allocation by the system. So let us go to tally and explore these options. Let us now explore more tricks with the cost center class that tally prime provides. In the previous video, we had created a class with allocation percentages as desired and also witnessed how we can set cost center class as not applicable and proceed with normal entry by choosing the type of cost center the user wants to select for allocation. Now using the concept of cost center class, we can further enhance our allocation in a much simplified way. Let us take an example of an organization wishing to track purchases as part of their cost center tracking. In Tally Prime, a purchase entry can be made by two ways. A. Entering purchase invoice as voucher and B. Entering in invoice mode. Let us first pass a purchase entry as voucher and allocate cost centers. The use case in this company that we are going to see has created cost center for branches to track their performance. To have proper tracking of the performance in this case, all expenses including purchases and incomes needs to be allocated to each of the cost center. Let us view the cost center that has been created. If you notice here, the company is created branches as primary cost center and under the primary cost center of branches, Bangalore branch and Mumbai branch has been created. Let us now pass a purchase entry as voucher. By default, when you select a purchase voucher type, it will be displayed in the invoice mode. That is what we are viewing here. To convert from invoice mode to voucher mode, you will have to change the mode by clicking on the right hand side button bar change mode or you can use keyboard shortcut as control H. So I'm going to click change mode and here we are viewing three options item invoice, accounting invoice as voucher. Accounting invoice is creating a purchase invoice without stock item but selecting an accounting ledger. What is the advantage of using invoice mode? When entry is passed using invoice mode, either through item invoice or accounting invoice, the tax amount or any other ledger where a percentage calculation is set, Tally Prime will automatically calculate the amount the moment you select that particular ledger. Example, GST or additional charges where percentage is mentioned like discount ledgers. Whereas in the voucher mode, the percentage will not be calculated. The user needs to enter the amount manually. Let us select the voucher mode. Enter the supplies invoice number 1234. The date will auto capture the voucher date. If you notice, in the voucher mode, we are getting the cost center class field. We will select not applicable as the common allocation was created for the department allocation in the previous video that we learnt. In this case, we are going to allocate the entire cost of purchase value to a branch which is Bangalore branch. So I'm going to select not applicable, enter, select the supplier ABC and company and now you have to see the purchase invoice and see the value and then you have to enter the 
total credit amount. The purchase value is say 35,400 including the GST amount. Enter the bill wise detail you can capture. Enter. We are going to select purchase ledger. Enter. The moment I select the purchase ledger, now Tally is asking you for the inventory allocation since we have mentioned that inventory values have to be affected. So I'm, we are going to buy product A quantity let us say 10 numbers and the rate is 1000 enter and now it is asking you the cost center allocation for the value of 10,000 related to the purchase ledger. So we have selected Bangalore batch and the next product that we are buying is product B again 10 numbers the rate is 2000 enter total value and now when I press enter it will ask for the cost center allocation. So I am going to enter Bangalore branch 20,000 no more items so I am going to press enter and now I am going to debit the GST tax ledger to the extent of 5400 at 18%. If you notice here every time a stock item is selected cost center needs to be selected and allocated for each of the item in the purchase invoice. If there are 10 items or more the same cost center needs to be selected so many number of times. Imagine the time taken to complete this entry. Let us save this voucher. I am going to press Control A to save the voucher. Let us view the impact of cost center allocation. You will notice here 30,000 has been allocated to the branches but we need to know for which branch it is. So you are going to press Alt F5 for detailed view and if you notice here we had selected Bangalore branch and that 30,000 rupees of the purchase cost has been allocated to Bangalore branch. Important information you have to keep in mind is that cost center allocation in Tally Prime can be allocated only for accounting ledgers and not for stock items. Now let us pass the same entry in the item invoice mode. We have to change this from voucher mode to item invoice. So come here click on change mode and select item invoice. Supplier invoice number 254 enter party we are going to select ABC and company. You will notice here there is the purchase ledger coming on top. In the voucher mode we saw after selecting the item entering the quantity rate and the amount the purchase ledger allocation subscreen opened. We can select the purchase ledger here so that all the items value will be posted to the selected purchase ledger. This is called as common ledger account for item allocation. In case in your tally if you are not getting this option use your secret number 2 F12 configure and notice this option select common ledger account for item allocation. Since this option is made as yes that is how we are seeing this particular field here. So let us select purchase account. Now with the common ledger selected here on top all the items captured in the invoice will be auto allocated to the selected ledger here. Let me demonstrate the same because there is relevance to the subject that we are learning today. Cost center again we are going to say not applicable. I am going to select the item product A enter quantity 10 numbers the amount will get auto captured enter and if you notice the cost center allocation subscreen is not opening up. So let us select the other product product B 10 numbers 2000 enter again the cost center allocation is not opening up. Now when you are trying to complete this voucher entry there is nowhere the cost center allocation is happening in this case whereas we were able to select cost center in the voucher mode. Even if the common ledger account for item allocation under F12 configure is set to no you cannot still allocate cost center in the invoice mode. So how do we handle this? Let us start with a fresh entry before you start capturing the data go to F12 configure you will see this option show list of cost centers you have to set this to yes. Once you set this to yes let us now see the magic. Press Control A and uh, the invoice number is 254 enter 
ABC purchase account and now when you press space bar you will see that even though we have not created any cost center class in this case you will now get the list of all the cost centers that has been created in the company this purchase value we have to allocate to Bangalore branch so select Bangalore branch here enter and let us pass the same entry product A 10 numbers 1000 amount it will not ask for any cost center allocation because now since we have selected Bangalore branch internally tally is going to allocate let us now save this voucher and see the result we will now notice here that the first voucher which we had entered in the voucher mode the 30,000 plus the second voucher for the same invoice which we entered in the invoice mode with the cost center class tally is now able to allocate to the selected cost center remember in the purchase invoice mode you have to make sure that under f12 configure show list of cost centers are enabled and in the cost center class field select the respective cost center that you want to allocate to so that tally is going to allocate automatically in the background. I hope this session would have given you a clear understanding of how you can handle the, especially the purchase invoice with the cost center allocation. So in the next session, we will see a couple of more interesting features related to cost center. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.